Normally I don't like Christmas pudding, but these are lush. Hi everyone, it's Eldra here. Thank you very much for joining me today. Welcome back to my channel. If you are new here, welcome. Please consider subscribing. I do resin, paid for craft, mixed media, all sorts of different things on this channel. So today we're going to do a resin Christmas project. I have this awesome, awesome Christmas pudding mould. So we've got one larger one and four smaller ones. So what we're going to do first, we're going to get some very thin amounts, possibly even UV resin. We'll see how time goes to pour in to do the holly completely forgot what it was called then the green and the red for the holly then we will pour the white for the icing and then we will do the brown for the backing pieces and i cannot wait to make these i've had this mold for a couple of months and i've just been waiting and waiting and waiting for it to get close to christmas so i can use it so yeah thank you very much i hope you enjoy it and i will see you at the end okay so i've mixed up my resin and i've put a little small pot of red and a little small pot of green and so we're just going to fill in the holly. I was going to say ivy again. Why do I keep wanting to call it ivy? Oh, holly. So uh, I hope you all had a wonderful Christmas. This is coming out just after Christmas. So you've probably had your Christmas pud fill already. But these are just super cute. We used these as placeholders for our table, which I thought was super cute. So I've done the red berry and the cat has just eaten a load of biscuits. Um, and then I'm going to use the green to do the leaves of the holly. And I think these are so, so cute. I absolutely love this. So um, the detail on these moulds is just, it's beautiful. So I'm going to add in the green for the holly leaves. How are you all? I hope you had a pleasant Christmas. I hope you got things that you were after. And I hope you managed to spend time with the people that matter to you. Um, yeah, it's been a tricky year, but we've got through it and we're nearly at the end of it so let's hope for a better 2021 so i have done the green and red detailing i'm doing this with epoxy resin so this isn't uv resin so i'm gonna have to leave this i wanted brighter colors so i knew i couldn't do the uv resin so we have left it for 12 hours and now i'm going to use this beautiful resinate opaque white just put a little bit of that into my resin give it a mix this gives such a beautiful bright white i love this color absolutely adore it so we're going to pour the white once it's mixed into the tops of our christmas puddings to be the beautiful shiny icing now i don't like christmas puddings but watching these i really really fancy one um <laughs> it's more just because it looks so happy and bright and colorful i think is my my reasoning so we're going to pour some out. i poured some out just to make it a little bit easier to pour because when there's less resin it's easier to pour with these pots and hello kitten you're gonna okay i thought she was gonna headbutt the microphone then and you were gonna get a very odd noise so i'm just using a little silicon spatula to spread that out so the first thing that i want to do is make sure that it reaches everywhere and then i can fill it up so that it's full because what you don't want to do is overfill it and have it overflow where you want it to be so i'm just going to guide it down into those spaces and then once I have spread it out, we can add some more resin in there to fill it up, fill the gaps and give it a nice full covering. I apologise for knocking the camera. So those are now getting full up. Then we can give it a quick blast with the heat gun, pop any of the bubbles that have arised from where we have been moving it around. And then we can leave these to cure for another 12 hours before we do the next one. And they are looking so good right now. So, 12 hours later, I've mixed up this beautiful dark brown and this beautiful chestnut. And what I'm going to do is I'm just going to pour that in and gently mix the two together. And what happens when you get two colours like this and you mix it just a couple of times, as you'll see, you get this sort of marbled look. You can do it with black and white. It's beautiful. So now when you pour it out, can you see you've got the, that river of different browns between them? This makes a beautiful wood effect and it works wonderfully for things like this just gives it a bit of depth a bit of a bit of warmth a bit of oomph so yeah so we're going to scrape out the last of that because resin is expensive we want to use it all then we're going to leave this to cure for 24 hours before we pop it out of the mold and see how they look 
And see, my mat is purple. I tell you it's purple, but it looks pink when I stand next to it, and I really don't know why. Okay, we are back to demold our Christmas puds. They are now cured and hard. So we'll start off with our little ones, I think, because I'm most excited. In fact, do you know what? I'm not going to show you, I'm not going to show me. <laughs> we can all have a look at them all together. <clears throat> Am I mean? Is that, is that a mean way to do it? I feel mean to myself, but you know. Being mean to myself isn't a problem. Being mean to you, not great. And then this large coaster one, I'm so excited about this. There we go. <laughs> Molds have come up pretty clean as well, as always, which is good. Right. Let's go. Ah, look at that! <gasps> that is brilliant! They look so cool. And I love that the dots are shiny. That is very clever. That is very clever. I wish there was slightly more definition with the holly. I was gonna say ivy again. What is wrong with me? They are super cute. Right, let's see our large one. Now that's awesome. Apparently I had a hair on the table. That's so cool. Hey, look at that. I love it. Let me get my Christmas mug. Because, you know. It's a Christmas poster. I've got to have a Christmas mug, right? Hee <laughs> hee. Perfect. And so obviously there's a little bit of a lip here. Where the white is. So I think to make this a functional coaster what I am gonna have to do is put some tape around the edge and just make it flush or just warn people you know be be aware that it's not completely flat I haven't decided what I'll do yet but yeah do you like the big one or the little one's best I think I like the big one best but there we go another Christmas resin done I am I oh so excited by these. Thank you very much for spending time with me today, guys. Keep crafting and I'll see you soon. Bye.